Most people, the biggest mistake that they make is they get things set up and it may be fine the way it's set up and then they never revisit it again. Um, we usually encourage people to revisit that every three to five years or a major life event. Yet I have people coming in who've done their estate planning when in the 80s or 90s and their children were little itty bitty kids and now their kids have all grown up and some things just haven't been taken care of because they didn't know that they needed to revisit that estate plan. That's the biggest mistake that I see. Most people believe they get things set up or they have a will, they're gonna avoid probate, no problem. And nothing can be further from the truth. I tell people if you hear the word last will and testament, that means that you are in probate court and you are instructing the probate court of what needs to happen. And so if people fail to revisit their estate plan um, in a timely fashion, uh, it can have severe consequences going to probate. More importantly is getting their powers of attorney updated. So the powers of attorney statutes get updated, I'd say, more frequently than last wills and testaments because last wills and testaments have been around for hundreds of years, literally, whereas powers of attorney are, are more recent. And so you have a lot of banks that won't recognize powers of attorney that are older than 10 years old, um, or you have um, situations where mom and dad have moved from another state or just haven't updated their powers of attorney in a timely fashion. And so there's a lot of hiccups that can occur if they don't revisit that.